What a glorious thing to be A healthy grown-up busy busy bee Filing away the passing hour Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to what I think is going to be the last episode in this series and uh, I hope you're going to enjoy it. It's the point where uh, everything comes together. I've finished making all the ancillary parts, finished drilling off the holes and uh, our final assembly takes place which is where we find out how or even in if indeed it works. Hope you enjoy it. Right, so this time I really am making the uh, pads for the table. Um, I have a piece of 12mm brass stock in the chuck. I've turned it down to 10mm uh, for a short length to make the first one or two. And uh, I'll just do the machining on the first one and then uh, a re rinse repeat for the next seven. Off we go. the diameter I'll just check that with the mic just to do it on the same side uh, fraction over that actually so that's uh, 7.95 diameter so we want to go down uh, well I'll take it down another two just under Check again. Six point zero six. Well, I think that's probably close enough for a good push fit. Just check if I got the lengths right. Hmm. I think the roll will be enough. That's seven and shaven, and that's off the end. We'll lead in chamfer on the end. Just to give us a start. Parting off tool. That needs to be one mil deep. So there's enough room to clean it up afterwards. Let's make that two.
speed it up a bit as we get closer to the centre. to leave a uh, pit on the end. that in the uh, ER11 collet in the chuck at a later stage remove the pit finish it to length and just put a slight chamfer on the on the top edge and like I say rinse and repeat seven times okay so back of the workbench and I've uh, got all the support pads made I've pressed them into place on the base uh, and now I've got to uh, machine them so that they're one millimeter higher than the uh, base itself. I'm hoping to do this in the lathe with um, uh, mounting the end of the mandrel which has been used in so many other of these operations in the lathe and uh, we'll see how true it runs um, and then just use a the uh, polished insert cutter to take these down to the uh, correct height. See how it goes. Right, well, that didn't work. I couldn't get the plate to uh, run in the lathe with insufficient run out to my satisfaction. So I've been back to the uh, surface grinder and yes I know I shouldn't use it on brass but um, very little in the way of contact and uh, I've been over the tops of these and brought them all down to the same level slightly over one millimeter but I'm uh, I'm happy with that and the clearances all fit quite nicely on there so next up will be the uh, bearing spigot to be pressed in there and uh, this needs a little relieving I think or the the bearing has uh, compressed a little when it was for, um, pressed into the table uh, such that it's just a little on the tight side and uh, I'd like it a little freer so I'm going to put it back in the lathe and either use a bit of emery cloth on the uh, circumference just to take a couple of um, hundredths off or maybe even a light skim only problem with that is I'll probably go a little bit too far and have to remake the whole darn thing but we'll see how it goes I'll come back when it's all done as you join me over at the mill where I've got the uh, completed rotary table assembly uh, sitting on top of the vise just for a quick demonstration um, let us say for example we want to turn the table clockwise by uh, 27 degrees the table the locating pin is um, in the zero hole so that the center line is on zero remove the pin rotate the table by 10, 20 degrees and then a further 7 put the locating pin in the 7 degree hole lock the table I won't do it too hard and we now have the table locked at 27 degrees obviously um, it can go the other way but in a certain amount of um, maths required to uh, get the required divisions and there we are 
that's all finished. Um, the next video I hope will be um, another one in my workshop tools series. I haven't done one of those for a long time and I think I will probably do the uh, traveling steady and possibly with somebody or something else but uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyway this one's finished and if you have been thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.